Welcome to the channel. In today's build, we're going to be doing, I think, what's called a Turkish twist. So we're going to be doing 21 layers of Damascus. I've got 11 layers of 1095 and uh, 10 layers of 15 and 20. Then we're going to forge weld it, squish it out a bit, and I think I'm going to get three cuts. And then I'm going to take each of these individually and I'm going to take each one of these probably three quarter inch um, square bars and I'm going to twist them. The first one I'm going to twist counterclockwise, then clockwise, then counterclockwise. And what we should see when we forge weld those back together, the pattern should be like this. That should look pretty nice. In the okay, we're ready to weld the ends of this. We're just going to weld the corners and do a line of weld down the side. So I've drawn the stack out. Now um, I've got it about three quarters of an inch. Uh, and now I'm just cutting it down the center to make our two, um, our two bars that we're gonna twist. Uh, and now the long process of cutting it with an angle grinder.
So here are my two twisted bars, re-squared. Still hot. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is cut these in half, put the ends together, have four pieces, and then four inch weld that with a little bit more 1095, and that's my billet. Okay, we got them cut. Now we just gotta make sure we have them arranged. Opposite pattern. Pattern that looks the best. Probably something like that. I still gotta grind all the sides, all of the connecting sides. So these are gonna be a bit narrower. Okay, we finally got all these surfaced on the mill. I've put kind of bevels on the outside, um, just so I don't get any of these, these cracks in here. So I have these bevels. I uh, took a chunk out of my thumb on the grinder. Don't do that. But uh, we're all set to clean them off with acetone and um, put these two pieces at 1095, weld it up, back in the forge. Okay, so here's the billet all welded up. I've got the 1095 on the edge and I put two little marks here so I remember what side the 1095 is on. Though I'll know when I etch it. Okay, kerosene and then in the forge. So after the first day of forging, I've got this um, a rough billet um, done. I've got the integrated bolster kind of forged out. I need to straighten it a little bit. Uh, but now what's left today, I need to widen the blade a little bit. This is going to be a chef's knife, so I want this a little wider. And because this is twist, four twists and then 1095, I can't just cut this to shape. Uh, I'm gonna need to forge it so the 1095 goes all the way to the tip. So the way I'm gonna do that, I've already just did a little test etch here. Unfortunately, the uh, twists are not uniform in width, but we're just gonna press on. What I'm gonna do is cut a little fish lip here. Here's the finished forge blade. 
got a lot of scale on it right now, so that needs to be ground off, but it looks like a knife. Got the tang drawn out. Only a couple concern areas. You can see that that crack there, I don't think it's a crack, but it is a seam. I think I can, uh, I think I can grind that out. Well, folks, I've been grinding on this thing for about a part of an hour and a half. As you can see, we have an issue with the forge weld. And unfortunately, it looks like it goes right through in the worst part of the blade. So I still got a bit of, a bit of weight to get rid of on this thing, but it's not looking good. Well, I decided the only option I had was to make a smaller knife. I just wasn't happy with the big crack in the center. So what I've done is cut that. We'll uh, trim down the tang and uh, we'll make it a smaller knife. Um, I'm loving the pattern, so I don't wanna just do away with this knife. So let's see what we can make out of it. So I've ground this blade um, with the grinder down to a pretty fine edge. Um, you saw me heat treat it. Uh, now it's time to hand sand it. Thanks for watching, folks. If you like what you see, please remember to like and subscribe. See you soon.